Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and I am back for flip number 43. And this happens to be the last flip for the year of 2015. What you see before you here are the five books that I have for the year. I mean, I have six books. Here's the sixth book. Um, but these are all the books that I completed this year in the Fobonichi Journalers group. And I am just completely thrilled that I was able to do all of these books. And quite honestly, I cannot believe that I was actually consistent with doing this daily, mostly daily. I mean, throughout some of these books, I do have like, you know, one or two pages that are still blank, but for the most part, they're all complete. So I am thrilled that I was able to, you know, actually be consistent in doing something from beginning to end. So this is my latest book right here. This holds my November, December. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I, this year, well, last year actually now because I don't even know it's January something maybe 20th or something like that and um, I finally today finished the last part of my December Fobonichi and um, each of these books holds two months worth so this book right here is November and December um, and so we will just get started on wherever I left off <laughs> So let's see here. Okay, I think I left off right here. Okay, on the last time, oops, let me get this out of the way. Sorry about that. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this. I've got a lot of junk on my bed. Okay, so on these pages here, uh, this was right before Christmas time. So Let's see here. Back here, we had gone to Star Wars. We were down in the Keys because my husband finally has some vacation time. And we were down there for, I don't even know how long. Well, we were down there back and forth, I think, because we went for about a week before Christmas. And then we always um, come back home here to our normal house um, for Christmas Day. And then we actually ended up leaving the day after Christmas to go back down south um, because we were going to have visitors, my father and all of that. So we'll get into all that. So on this day, the 23rd, a couple days before Christmas, um, we were still down in the Keys this day and we had to wait around because now I can say because it's after Christmas and everyone's gotten their gifts. But we had been waiting around because my husband and I had um, decided to get smartphones for Christmas. Yes, my husband finally warped us into the 21st century. <laughs> and I've explained that in past videos. Um, but yeah, so we had ordered the phones and we were waiting for them to come in down there. They were being shipped down south to a store. And so we were waiting around, you know, waiting for the phone call to say that that they were in and that we could go pick them up. So yeah, we thought at that point that the gems were getting a little suspicious on why why are mommy and daddy leaving and going to do, you know, shopping or whatever by themselves. So anyway, that's what it was. So that day as well on Wednesday, we decided to travel back home after we picked up the Christmas presents. And when I got home, it was so nice because my mailbox was just full of Christmas cards because we had been gone for a week and um, I had received a happy mail from Cindy Clover. Such a sweet surprise that was. And as well as another package from a dear um, online friend that I have. And I had also received my long-awaited Midori inserts and my Tim Holtz stains as well. Because you'll notice in the next flip that I do, I have changed my entire way of doing the Fobonichi. So we'll get into that on the next flip through. Um, here comes Fred. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. 
So on this day here, we were busy, busy, busy all day long. And so we were wrapping up loads of presents today and we have to do it in shifts so that everybody, you know, gets surprised on Christmas morning. So, you know, my, uh, my son comes in and we wrap my daughter, some of my daughter's presents and things like that. And then he leaves and then my daughter comes in and she and I wrap, you know, my, our son's gifts and, uh, and then, yeah, it's just mayhem. It's, it's mayhem and it's, you know, Christmas wrapping paper and tape everywhere and all of that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, it took us most of the day. And then our Christmas Eve tradition, which I've mentioned before, uh, we always have like, you know, I always call it bridal shower food. I don't know, like, like a wedding shower or bridal shower food, because it's always just really like snacky food. And we always have a, a picnic and in, in, like in the living room, we either watch a Christmas show on TV or um, I don't even know what we watched this night. I think we watched, um, some kind of like comedy show and anyhow. Um, so yeah, on the menu that night is it's all snacky food. So pigs in a blanket, bacon wrapped chicken bites, potato skins, deviled eggs, spinach dip with pumpernickel. And it's just all a bunch of like just fun, unhealthy, you know, food. <laughs> And we look forward to it every year. And so that's what we did that night. And then we all pile into the car and we go out um, to some neighborhoods that aren't, you know, all that close to us. But we go to neighborhoods that have Christmas lights and, you know, we play Christmas music and we just drive around for, you know, an hour or so looking at all the pretty lights. So, yeah. And then when we get home... Um, it's kind of late. It's, you know, I mean, it's like 10 or after 10 o'clock PM. So when we get home, then that's when we put out all of our Christmas presents under the Christmas tree. And we've always done that because our Christmas tree is in our bay window and we don't have blinds on our windows. Um, we have curtains, but they stay open all the time. So yeah, we don't really like to advertise that we have, you know, gifts under the tree and whatnot. So um, when we get home from Christmas lighting, we put all of the presents under the tree that night. And so this day here was Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. And these are some of uh, samples of the Christmas paper that we used. And I must have coordinating paper. Every year I get different paper and it always coordinates. So this year was some plaid and some foil with holly leaves on it. Um, and this was another one. So yeah, we had plaid, we had craft paper with foil, and we had craft paper here. And this here shows kind of, you know, like some of the things that, um, that we got for Christmas. And then this here, let me tell you, it's, this is the box that my husband's cologne comes in. And it's called Lucky Six and they don't sell it anymore in the store. So I have to scour Amazon for it. And I love the smell of it. Oh, it smells so delicious. So yeah, that was the box from it. And let's see what happened here. So our routine on Christmas morning is very relaxed, very relaxed. It always has been. Even when the kids were younger, we don't do the whole Santa thing in my house. We never have. And so it's just kind of like we wake when we wake, we, you know, we never really did the whole like waking up at five or 6am and rushing out to the Christmas tree and a big surprise, look at all the presents, because we didn't celebrate Santa here, we celebrated the birth of Christ. So uh, yeah, so we always set out our presents the night before. And so yeah, we just we wake when we wake, we take our time, the kids get to open their stockings. And, um, yeah. And then sunshine started our morning by reading from the book of Luke about the account of Jesus's birth. And then, then the kids open their stockings after we read. And then, um, then we opened gifts one by one. And of course we, ooh, and ah over everyone's gifts and everyone was surprised. And then we eat a lovely Christmas casserole that my husband bakes for us on Christmas morning. So 
that was, it was a very nice relaxing day. Sorry for the glare. Oh, I can't help it. I'm sorry. There we go. So then this day here on the 26th, we decided to go back down to the Keys because we were awaiting the arrival of my father and his new girlfriend, uh, whom we had never met before. So we were very excited for that, but the traffic was atrocious. So it took us about two hours to get down, um, to our other house and it's normally like a 40 minute drive. So yeah, it was, the traffic was horrible, but we got there. And so, yeah, it was, um, we were glad to be back down South to celebrate, um, and have my dad be there with his girlfriend and, um, you know, just have fun and do whatever we were going to do and celebrate and bring in the new year. And so this day here, we went out and about. My dad still wasn't in town yet, but um, Big Handsome and the Gems and I, we ventured out and uh, into town. We ran some errands. So yeah, we went to um, Office Depot. We found some phone cases and yay, they were on sale. So that was great. Picked up a few things here and there. Went out to lunch at The Catch, which is a new, a relatively new place. We hadn't been there before and it was super cute. Had a really nice outdoor area and the food was good. So we had a great time just spending time, you know, together as a family. And we got home and we went on a golf cart ride. And yeah, so that's what we did. And I took a nap and we had soup and grilled cheese sandwiches for dinner. So that was yummy. And then on this day here, um, poor Big Handsome, it was an all-day couch day for him. He had no more spoons left. <laughs> that was just, oh, he was he was done for. So, yeah, he spent the afternoon on the couch, and the rest of us were cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And so, yeah, I decided to draw a few. I know I don't draw very often in my book, but today, or on this day, I decided to draw. And this top part, it says I... I want it to look like no one lives here. And it was just a super hilarious video. And now I can't think of the name. It's like, um, I think it's called Company is Coming on YouTube. And it is flipping hilarious. It's so funny. And the kids had showed it to me. And they were like, oh my God, that's so like you and dad, you know. And so we were cracking up about it. So that's what prompted this top of the page because we were trying to clean up the house for my dad um, and company that was coming into town. So then, you know, it was after Christmas, so we had all gotten our iPhones and I'm still trying to figure out the whole thing. I'm so not tech savvy. It's not even funny, but I'm learning how to text and yeah, it's like teaching an old dog new tricks. It's like scary. But, um, and then that day as well, I recorded my, uh, I recorded three flip videos. First time I'd ever recorded any videos down there. And so I got that done that day. And then we did happen to see a manatee in the canal. So that was fun. And that I was loving trivia crack. So <laughs> yeah, that's my life. Um, and then this day here, it was just more cleaning. My dad still hadn't arrived. I think he was arriving this day. Yeah, he arrived this day with his girlfriend. And so we were excited to meet her and spend time with her and, of course, my dad. And so we had a lovely time. And that night, um, we just stayed in and we ordered pizza and, you know, just sat downstairs in our patio and visited and, you know, kind of met each other and talked. And it was just a really great time. And then that evening, we all got on the golf cart. And this picture, like, it came out kind of dark. Like, there's one of the cart's eyeballs. And the other one over here is like a close, like a winking kind of thing. But my markers were really dark, so you can hardly see it. But anyhow, um, yeah, we were in search of a sunset. So we all piled into the golf cart. We rode around the hood. And we were racing against time because, like, it just seemed like every road that we turned down like you couldn't see the sunset because of the season you know depending on the season whether it's summer or winter the sun sets in different areas and so yeah it was interesting we were just like racing time and so finally we ended up going by the K that's right by our house and the sun had already set but it was still a beautiful sky so that was fun and then this day here 
um, my dad and his girlfriend were still here and they decided that they wanted to take a trip to Key West. So they graciously took our kids, um, you know, my dad's grandkids and because they wanted to go as well. So my dad and his girlfriend and the kids, they all set off on a trip down to Key West, which is quite a ways down from where we are. And there was a whole lot of traffic. It was like terrible because the way the keys are set up, it, there's one road, one, that's it. There's one road down and one road back. And it's mostly two lane the whole way there and back. So Anyway, they finally got down there. They went to um, a nice restaurant down there and had a late lunch. And then they walked Duval Street and watched the sunset. And they didn't even get home until like 9 p.m. It was crazy. And then back at the hideaway, my husband and I didn't go. And here's how I felt about that. Um, because he was just having a really rough time with his health. And we narrowly averted a trip to the ER. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, he pretty much, you know, attempted, tried his best to sleep it off. And so he was on the couch all day and I was in bed all day nursing a horrific migraine. So it was terrible, but at least the kids and my dad and his girlfriend got out and had fun and spent some time together and, you know, had some quality time. So that was nice. And then here's my last day. Here's the last day of December. Um, my husband felt a bit better the next day and not all that much better, but, um, he was gracious enough to take us all out on a boat ride. Um, my dad's girlfriend wanted to go over and she wanted a chance to swim like, you know, in the ocean, even though it's the bay, but whatever, same difference, salt water, it's all, it's all the same. But, um, so yeah, we had the opportunity to go on a boat ride. So first we went over to our little private beach and, um, so that my dad's girlfriend could swim in the, in the salt water. And she had a great time and, um, big handsome had to rest on the boat. The poor thing, he was just wore out. And then we took a ride down a canal that's called Adam's cut down here. And on both the sides of the canal, are these huge limestone walls because when they made the canal, they cut into the limestone because originally the Florida Keys were a coral reef. And so the, you know, I guess over the years, the water has receded and has, you know, made these islands, chain of islands, which is called the Florida Keys. And so when you go down the canal, it's really cool because you can see these trees that are growing into the limestone and like their roots and everything are growing right into the limestone. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And then of course there are these like big, gorgeous, you know, million dollar homes along the canal. So we always like going down there and seeing the pretty homes and seeing all that's there. And there are lots of iguanas everywhere, everywhere you look, there's iguanas and they look like dinosaurs. I mean, they're just crazy big and they're just, they're beautiful. And so we had fun doing that. And we had a little picnic on the boat as we were going slowly through the canal, looking at everything. And that was a lot of fun. Um, and when we got back to the house, my father and his girlfriend decided to take our kayak out and go tooling around the canals. And my daughter led them on her paddleboard. So she kind of, you know, showed them where to go and all of that kind of stuff. And, and, um, you know, they had a great time. It's very tiring, but I tell you what, it's great seeing, you know, a couple in their seventies getting into a kayak <laughs> and tooling around, you know? So yeah, they had a great time doing that. And, um, you know, when they got home and got all cleaned up and all that, we had a nice ham dinner and then we just relaxed, you know, watching football the rest of the night. And, I don't think not one of us stayed up till midnight. The kids might have stayed up till midnight, but all the older people, myself and my husband included, we all went to bed before, well before midnight. So anyhow, but we had a great time together and that marks the end of 2015 for me. And that's it. So what you have to look forward to next flip is I have changed my way of doing things a bit. I'm no longer working this year in uh, altered composition books. I am going to be working in 
a Midori insert, which I'm having loads of fun with. And so, yeah, I'll thank you for taking your time to spend with me and listen to my ramblings. And I will catch you next time. And it will be for the flip starting in 2016 and using my new Midori inserts. So hope to see you back. Thanks again for watching.